Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. And today we are back with another Fungal Pop unboxing for you. I'm super excited to show these off. I did show them a little bit, but I definitely want to make its own video to show you all six pops in this set that we have so far. Uh, and I might get a little bit geeking out today over this because I'm definitely a passionate supporter of this director and of this movie. And uh, hopefully with having these pops out and uh, talking about that and having some more excitement, we can help uh, stir up some excitement to restore the Snyderverse as we are talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League Funko Pops today. Uh, we do have six pops so far. We have some more that are, gonna, that are going to be coming later, some other exclusive that have not released yet. And of course, we'll take a look at those once they do come out. Uh, but before we jump into the video today and take a look at these pops, make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and leave a like on the video as well, and also go down below and uh, let me know if you uh, support uh, the Snyderverse as well and you want to restore Snyderverse. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But let's see uh, what we got today with our six pops. This is part of the common set and then one of the exclusives that are released from Hot Topic. So we'll take a look at these six and then we'll talk about a little bit about what other pops we can expect later. And uh, there have been some rumors as well, some other Funko Pops. That could be coming out for Zack Snyder's Justice League. So we'll talk about those too. So let's take a look at our first one here today. And our first one is not the most exciting looking pop, but definitely a cool character in the movie. It is Diana Prince, otherwise known as Wonder Woman. So Diana Prince here, this pop, uh, this moment comes from right after the beginning of, more towards the beginning of the movie. Uh, once they find that Steppenwolf is trying to come down, uh, to uh, collect the mother boxes in Themyscira. They send a signal by send, by shooting an arrow uh, over to one of the Greek libraries and she goes over and she finds it and then finds all of the drawings on the wall depicting the prediction of Dark Side coming and the uh, war that happened thousands of years ago. So that's what she uh, was doing here when she found when she had this pop. And in the pop, she has that beautiful white dress on and the white shoes. Nothing, you know, too crazy about it, but that's definitely how she looked in the movie. So they depicted that well. But she does hold the arrow in her right hand that she had picked up from that building as she found out all of those secrets and the history. So again, nothing too exciting about this pop, but definitely just a cool character. You gotta love Wonder Woman. Now, Wonder Woman's teammate on the Justice League our buddy who came back from the dead is Superman himself. Uh, so Superman, he is there in his black suit, which looks absolutely amazing. I love the black suit Superman, of course, coming from the Death Superman comics and now being inspired in this new movie. And the black suit definitely has a lot of detail in it. You can definitely even feel the fibers all around. You can see those fibers coming out, which looks really cool. And then you love that black cape going behind him, kind of floating in the air as he is flying. It looks like he's in, a, in the middle of the battle, maybe with Steppenwolf at the end where he goes and punches Steppenwolf. Uh, so that was a really, really cool moment when he's fighting him. So I definitely like how they capture that in this pop in that suit looks fantastic. Now there is a second Superman pop and this one is that Hot Topic exclusive one that recently came out and it is black suit Superman again, but it is him with that flight stance. So he it has his fist on the ground and he's about to go fly, uh, I guess right after he gets the suit and he goes and tests it out. So he is kneeling on the ground, his knee on the ground with his fist there in front of him too. Just kind of reenacting that first flight sequence from Man of Steel, which is beautiful. And now bringing that back full circle after his resurrection. So really his first flight after uh, the resurrection and getting back that suit and the suits just pretty much the same thing as this one here it's just in a different stance now unfortunately this pop is already uh it was already made just with the blue suit back during the 2017 justice league when they were putting out the pops for that so it is unfortunate that's essentially the same pop i did have that one in my collection too but i ended up getting rid of it when i knew that we were getting the zack snyder's justice league because i prefer to have you know the real Justice League movie right here. Now going on to some of the big baddies in this movie that we got popped up so far. Our first guy here is going to be Desaad. And Desaad is Darkseid's right hand man. He's helping him uh, take out his plan uh, where he does send Steppenwolf to try to go find those mother boxes so he can terraform that planet 
and decide we see throughout the movie continuously beaming in to talk to Steppenwolf uh, when in that sort of um, plant that they go to where they set up their headquarters. So Desaad is definitely a really cool character. And I love the detail on the pop. Just like Superman's suit, you can really see the fibers, the detail that has been put in to this suit, into this costume here. So he has that cloak on, kind of, uh, with that hood, which looks absolutely great. You can see, even see the stitching all around it. And then even the stitching in his actual shirt, kind of, or dress, I guess you can call it, from there, uh, from the inside. And you see it going all the way down to the floor. And then it kind of extends out to the floor, which also works as a stand for the pop as well. So it's practical, uh, but also just a cool looking costume. And of course, the side is doing all his work for Darkseid, who we have right here. Darkseid, awesome, big bad of the movie. Of course, he's the overarching villain. We have Steppenwolf, but he's the overarching villain. Does have his weapon in his hand so I would guess that this is from the beginning of the movie when they have that flashback to the battle from thousands of years ago when Darkseid first tries to come to earth uh, to, and he with that weapon he does hit the ground and he does find the anti-life equation so I love that armor there all around definitely looks really cool it is a little bit shiny it's not metallic but when you have the light on it does kind of shine off a little bit as you can see uh, but they do have a metallic version of this coming from Walmart. So when we get that in, probably in the next month or two, we'll of course go ahead and show that off as well. But I absolutely love the stance and I love the detail that they put into his face and his body. Because of course he's thousands of years old and he is not a human, he is an alien. So he's gonna look much different than everyone else. And so I love how they even have the wrinkles and all the details in his face and in his arms. Look, definitely really cool. And speaking of Dark Side, we do have one more Dark Side pop to finish off the collection. And here is Dark Side on Throne. This is so dang cool. This is a deluxe pop. I don't think it's quite a six inch pop, uh, but it is definitely a really cool one. So in the movie where Dark Side does, is actually in the, um, when Cyborg looks into the future, he can see Dark Side on his throne as he's kind of taken over Earth. And there he is right there. Looks really cool. So he has the same suit on, kind of the same mold as you have in the other pop, but he has a little bit different expression. His face looks a little bit more menacing. He does have that kind of uh, frown on his face too. And I definitely like the detail even in the throne with some of the lettering on the, not necessarily lettering, but uh, some of the designs on the bottom and the back. Probably not quite the same as what we have in the movie because I think there was some alien language that was written on the throne. Uh, in the movie, I wasn't mistaken, but still definitely really cool pop to have him. Even though this was a small, small moment in the movie, definitely love that they made this into a pop. So there is our look at the brand new Zack Snyder Justice League pops. We got the six of them here, and we will be getting more. Like I said, we will be having that metallic uh, Walmart Juice of Dark Side here. And then we'll also get a four pack from the DC shop, which I was able to order be, as being, I think it's like a DC insider or something like that. Uh, I was able to go ahead and order that. And uh, they that four pack, I think it's gonna have Superman, Diana, Prince, Desaad, and Darkseid, and they're all gonna be black and white. And I believe they might be metallic too. So that's definitely really, really awesome. They did have a chance for everybody to order like the individual ones and they dropped them like once every two weeks while back. I didn't get any of those just because I was knew I was going to be getting the four pack. So hopefully I'll be getting that in at some time soon. They said August, but now we're at the end of August and it's still not out. So hopefully we can still get that. Uh, but I absolutely love these pops here. Definitely, definitely love it. Now we should be seeing more Zack Snyder's Just Sleep pops coming soon. Joel Manganiello, uh, who plays Deathstroke in the film, uh, did go on Instagram recently. And he did put out there that we might be able to see a Deathstroke with a Mohawk Funko Pop. That would be absolutely amazing. I would love to see it for like a New York Comic Con Pop. Uh, I would love to see a Nightmare Joker. I would love to see an updated Nightmare Batman. Another Cyborg Flash Pops would be really cool. Martian Manhunter, of course. we got to get Martian Manhunter when he shows up in the movie. Uh, you know, just having a more of these characters. And, of course, a new updated Steppenwolf with a spiky armor would be awesome so hope to see more Zack Snyder Justice League pops and hope you guys enjoyed 
seeing these pops here. Let me know what you think about these pops. Which ones are your favorite out of this six? Do you plan on picking up these pops or have you already? Uh, and were you able to get any of those exclusives as well? Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know, again, if you guys would like to see Warner Brothers restore the Snyderverse, let me know what your support is uh, for, Zach, for Zack Snyder's Justice League in the comments down below. I understand it's not for everybody, but I would like to hear your thoughts about it, talk to you guys. Uh, that's definitely something that I'm very passionate about over here. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you again real soon.